I am Anil Kumar. In these set of videos, we are reviewing about linear equations. Uh, Here is another question. It says, which of the following equations represent linear equation? Explain your answer. So you can explain your answer in a couple of ways. One, when you look at the equation itself, uh, you can answer the equation. That is by checking the equation. So if we have a term which is x squared, then it is not linear, correct? So, so from, uh, you say, inspection of the equation. So first part you can find is by inspection of equation, right? So looking at the equation, you can make out whether it is a linear equation or not. Second way to find is to find first finite difference, first finite difference. The other way is to graph, right? So you could also graph and check. So these are different ways of uh, finding whether the equation represents a linear equation or not, correct? So linear equation means what? Linear equation will be kind of ax plus by uh, plus c equals to zero. So that is linear, right? We do not have any square terms. We do not have terms where x and y gets multiplied. They are separate. They only have constants, real numbers as their coefficients, right? So from inspection, we say only linear equation is this one. Here, since they are multiplying, this is not. And here also, we have square, so it is not. So from inspection, we can straight away say that the only linear equation here is the very first one. And now let us also prove it using first finite difference. So what we will do here is that we will take some points of x and y, right, and then check the finite difference. So we can rewrite this equation. So we'll take some values of x. We can rearrange and then we can write y equals to. So if bringing y to the right side will give us x minus 10, right? So x minus 10. So now we'll take some values of x and find the values of y. So let us start with values like, let's take 10. It's easy, right? So we'll have all positive numbers. So x as 10, y will give me 10 minus 10 as 0. Then let's take x as 11. 11 minus 10 is 1. 12 will give us 2. 13 will give us 3. 14 will give us 4 and so on, right? So that is first part. So selecting x points as per your convenience is kind of a good idea. Now let's find the first difference. So the first difference in this particular case is, let's extend the table, that is to say we have to find what is y2 minus y1, where y2 is the next value of y, right? So that is to say, we will do 1 minus 0, 2 minus 1, 3 minus 2, 4 minus 3, and so on. So if we do that, we get 1 minus 0 equals to 1, 2 minus 1 equals to 1, 3 minus 2 equals to 1, 4 minus 3 equals to 1. It is constant. Do you see that? So what we find is that the first difference is constant. So we get first difference. is equal to 1 that is constant therefore it is linear so that represents a linear equation right so linear equation so that is how you can prove it right now in this particular case if i rearrange the equation for y what do i get i get y equals to 12 over x now that is not a linear equation second what you also find is that x cannot be zero there is a restriction for a line there is no restriction it is all real numbers here we cannot have x equals to zero plus if you make a table of values like this let us do that right so we'll just take few values it will be very clear to you that it doesn't work right so so you could take some values for x and y uh, let's say x value we cannot take zero but we can take one two, three, four, for example. So for one, 12 divided by one is 12. For two, 
12 divided by 2 is 6, for 3 it will be 4, for 4 it is 3. Now as you can see, the difference here is 6 minus 12 is minus 6. 4 minus 6 is minus 2 and 3 minus 4 is minus 1. So this is first difference. Let me denote like this. So we say first difference is not constant, right? Correct. So this is not linear. Now in this particular case, we can rearrange the same equation as y equals to x square, right? So x square is a parabola. If I take different equations and sketch it, we'll get a graph like this, which you can clearly see is not linear. So you can graph and find the solution. Second is just plot some points. So let us take some values for x and y. So x, for example, 0, 1, 2, 3. y values are square of these numbers 0, 1, 4, and 9. The difference here is 1, 3, 5, correct? So that is not constant, so it's not linear. However, you will find that the second difference will be 3 minus 1, 2, 5 minus, it's constant, so it's quadratic, right? So that is, you, that is how you can figure out whether the equations are linear or not, correct? So three ways to find is, you can just inspect, look at the equation and answer the question find finite difference as we did for all three of them or graph them, right? So that is the way it should be done. I hope that helps you to review. Now let's move on. Thank you and all the best.